Hello there. Sorry it's been a long time since I've updated to this video, uh, this YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a very long, very bad year for me and my family. I'll tell you the things that happened this year. Uh, but I'm really hoping next year is great for everybody and it's way better than 2017, 2016. Um, those two years were horrible. This year was the worst for me. Um, I'll tell you what happened. At the start of the year, I lost my hearing for a week. I got a bad lung infection and it made it to my hearing. And I lost my hearing for a week. Then after I recovered from that, I ended up pinching a nerve. Um, right where my hip was, where my, on the back of my leg. After that, on February 8th, we found my uncle had pneumonia. He always thought it was just a bad cold he had. He was taking medicine for it to try to break up the phlegm in his lungs. The congestion that turns out it was uh, pneumonia. Uh, they gave him some antibiotics, sent him home, and he passed away on the 10th from pneumonia on the couch. Um, he said uh, he wasn't feeling good, but me and my dad had to take somebody to the airport. So we told him back in about an hour or so, take him to the airport, we weren't gone long. Uh, we were going to take a, the quickest way to Toronto and back. I just lived about an hour away, so... Well, half, less than a half hour away if you take the world we were taking. About 25 minute drive or half hour drive at the most to the airport. And we came home, we found him passed away on the couch. After, I ended up getting water on the hip, same spot where I pinched the nerve. So there was another week where I couldn't walk. Um, in the summer, the start of the summer, my dad found out he had pancreatic cancer. Now... About well, four years ago, he had a bad fall off a ladder, and he hurt the muscles in his stomach and the ribs. And the doctors were always saying that, oh, it's just uh, tense stomach muscles, giving him muscle relaxers and that. And it turns out it was pancreatic cancer he had, and at one time they could have removed it, but it had grown around the stomach vein and the vein in the stomach. So they said they had to give him chemo treatments, and... Uh, I will tell you one good thing is that is when uh, me, my brother, and a bunch of his friends put our money together, we took him to Fan Expo, and he had a great time there. He was smiling and laughing like he hasn't done for a long time, and he was loving all the people in costumes. He thought it was great. Uh, he was a little ticked off because he had all of his money on a bank card, and almost no place would take a uh, debit, so he was yelling that I got $300, and nobody would take my money, and... uh yeah, and he wanted to meet Ethan Phillips, but we didn't have the money, the cash to meet him there and get the autograph. So we were standing there talking, and he saw this guy walk by dressed like Superman, and wanted to talk to him and get a picture with him. And he did, and it turned out that the person he was talking to was the actor from the Supergirl TV show that played Superman. And they talked for about a good 20 minutes, my dad was telling what was going on, and he Took time just talking to my dad and said to my dad he wanted to see him next year at the convention and told my dad to keep fighting. And my dad was bragged about a good solid two months up to the day he died uh, that he met the guy who played Superman in the Supergirl TV show. That was his highlight of his life. Uh, every time I turned around, he said, Jamie, pull out the picture and show them the picture of me as Superman. <laughs> he was so proud of that picture. Um. Well, what happened is that he went from 180 pounds to 117 pounds with the chemo treatments and that. And he was having bad uh, diarrhea. We don't know why. He couldn't keep food in him. Uh, doctors thought it was from the chemo. It turns out it wasn't from the chemo. It was something else he had. So they were, they were giving him medic. They took him off the chemo and started giving him other medications. And uh, one night I heard him knocking at the door in my bedroom. He said he wasn't. He said he was hot, then he collapsed in front of me, and his eyes were open. He was looking around like he didn't know where he was. And he came to, and he looked at me, and he said, why am I in the hallway? And I said, you, you were knocking at my door. You said you're hot, and you collapsed in front of me. Uh, I took him to the hospital, and they told him it was, uh, he was dehydrated, and they said it was probably a uh, heat stroke he had. And they, we found out he had a, a blood clot in his uh, neck. And one of his arteries. And they told him to watch what he did. Don't get angry in that. <sighs> on October 30th. He ended up passing away. Um, 
he called me into his room. He said he needed help to get to the washroom. At this point, he was so weak, he couldn't wash himself or walk without help. Uh, like I said, he was about 117 pounds, and he was about 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, so he was really underweight and very frail. So uh, he said he wasn't feeling good and needed to go to the bathroom. So I hoped him to get up, and he went into the same kind of trance he went into before I seen where he would not when he dropped at the door in my room at the front door um he uh, luckily we had a friend over that came was uh, helping me look after my dad uh, she started doing CPR I called 911 they took him to the hospital and they said they lost him at the hospital while working on him uh, a week after my dad's funeral, I went to go visit a friend of mine who wasn't feeling too good, and I found him dead in his apartment. Uh, the door was unlocked. I walked in. I went to his room, and he passed away. He was having uh, he caught a stomach virus, and he passed away from that. I guess it's been a really long year, and I'm hoping 2018 is a great year for everybody. Uh Love your family, I guess. I guess that's why I say love your friends and family, even though sometimes they act like jerks. Remember to hug them and tell them you love them every day because you don't, you won't know when you get it next time. And have a great 2018, everybody. Hope it's really good. Bye.